Leslie and I'm the maker behind Seamless Art. Seamless Art is a culmination of many years of experimentation and ex exploration of various creative techniques to find that which is most important and meaningful to me. I'm very eclectic in what interests me in the arts and crafts world, uh, but I do enjoy pushing myself to learn new skills. I started very young with knitting and needlework, uh, both of which I continue to do and incorporate into my projects to this day. But I've also taken on uh, projects involving wood, metal manipulation, uh, refurnishing of antique and vintage items and furniture, to learning how to reupholster chairs, but all the while um, continuing on with my sewing and uh, improving my sewing machine techniques. So what drives me the most is the opportunity to look at items that may have worn out their original intention and to see how they can be revived into something new. Uh, many of my bag designs are modified to fit the fabric that I have versus me going out and finding the fabric to fit the pattern. Um, this, this makes the completion of the, patch, the project not very efficient and it often can take me anywhere from 10 to 12 hours per bag. But I've decided that I mostly enjoy the process of making each bag and celebrating its uniqueness and also that I'm contributing towards some environmental awareness by reutilizing items and making something new out of them. My involvement with horses is another one of my passions and I was looking for ways that I can incorporate this part of my life into my art. Originally I was given old leather halters and martingales from which I harvested the brass hardware and any usable leather and was able to come up with some really fun ways to use this stuff into my handbags. So through my research and experimentation, I learned very simple ways on how to restore, cut, reshape harness leather uh, into very lovely, supple and fine leather straps. Again, the, the impetus was that I was going to be saving some of these fine items from the landfill and incorporate them into something new. So I'm happy today to show you my workspace. It is in itself a work in progress as I am limited by the rules of my basement, but I find this challenge to be just that in itself a challenge. So I have different areas that I perform my work. All of my work is done from a standing position as that's what's most comfortable for me. My sewing and some of my leather work is done here in the basement. Um, my ironing is all done up on my second floor and my woodworking and some of my uh, other additional leather work is done in an outside garage. This intersperses exercise of going up and down the steps and movement for which would normally be a very sedentary activity. So it prevents me from developing stiffness and pain from prolonged postures. I use a very standard sewing machine and I've learned the importance of using a sharp, proper, correct needle for each of my projects. My leather tools are very simple, but recently I've done some upgrades mainly to help um, me with reducing the strain on my hands. So I do hope to evolve one day out of my basement, but for now it works seamlessly. Sorry, I had to get that in. So most of my outer fabrics have been found at antique and vintage stores, thrift and uh, secondhand stores and yard sales. I try not to use items that still are usable for their intended purpose, but occasionally I will need to look for something specific to complete my project, such as a leather coat. But usually I like to just go out and see what inspires me. But for the interior of my bags, I do use a new fabric I purchase, and that's a denier fabric, which is ripped water and stain resistance. So, but sometimes, you know, it is fun to do a coordinating fabric for the inside. So I am flexible with my designs, but. So please enjoy the gallery of pictures that I have and, and um, pictures of my work site. I look forward to seeing you in person at the next Arts in Bloom, which has been rescheduled to November 28th and 29th. Thank you for your attention and your interest in my workspace and my items. My goal was to show you that you can make any area into a crafting and inspirational spot. 
and that high-tech equipment is not always necessary. But mostly it's my hope that you'll rethink um, throwing away items and either donate or upcycle them yourself. So thank you and enjoy.